going to hear talk a little bit uh, fast because the guy, the guy knows me knows that I'm a more like a technical guy. But Who are you? <laughs> Almost here. Already know me. I'm the father of five factors, and I'm the one who all of you hate uh, because you receive my mail saying saying you cannot integrate that, you cannot do it like that, and this is not going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, yes, thank you very much for that. Mostly my responsibility. Uh, I do it the best that I can. <coughs> I know that I, I have upset some of you some certain times, but believe me, it's not because I want it. It's because it has to be. <coughs> and also, I'm the one who is always running for making this stuff stable when we are going to release. So, uh, as I was, I was saying, I'm more like a technical guy at this talk. It's not going to be technical, it's just to show what are the possibilities that we have now to do foreign function interface and where are we aiming uh, in that area. So, this talk can be just five minutes long or quite the opposite. So, we, we'll see. So, this is the status. Actually, now we have in FFI, and everybody that has tried knows that it's a complete mess because we have a lot of options, and none of them is documented. None of them is clear how to use it. So no, wait, 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 no? wait. There is one chapter on not you boost FFI. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and there is some alien, ancient alien documentation, but this. Nobody knows where it is, it's hard to understand. And, and well, basically, we have these three options now in Faro Image the regular FFI, Alien, and Natis, Native Boost implementation. I'm going to talk a little bit about all of them. The FFI is the first one and it's basic and does the work quite fine. Uh, it's reasonable to use and it's reasonable to understand, but it just understand basic types. And as soon as you need some complex types, well, nobody knows how to do it. It's super complicated. You have to extend an external, external type class and declare fields, and then probably your declaration will become messy. Yeah? It's complicated and but nobody wants to do that. Uh, but uh, for most of the cases, it does the work. Uh, there has no callbacks in implementation because, as I say, it's like 15 years old implementation and at the moment it was not uh, a problem. Uh, it becomes a problem in the latest years and Elliot did a version with callback support, but there is basically the same primitive as alien, but this, that is not integrated, integrated well in Faro yet. It will, but not now. So, the pros that it has is that it's simple. And the, the cons, the cons the con, is that there is no callbacks, and also declaration is complicated because you use a pragma that you have to declare the type of calling that you are going to do. If it's going to be a CDK or an APCAL, for those that does not, CDK is Mac and Linux and APCAL is for Windows, then you will need it for the opposite. And declaration is not compliant to standard photo secrets. Yes. Also, that it's a hack also in the Pragma syntax, you are saying. And the real problem with this is that if you want something that is fully compatible, even if you have a library that is fully compatible, you will need a strategy with two different uh, sets of implementations, which is what we do in DBX talk, for example. Which the only thing that changes is in one it says CD and in the other says AP call. So it's quite stupid and could be better. The other problem is that since the module lookup is a string, uh, you cannot put a find 
function there to, to, to actually find the, the library. No matter where it takes, it's made. So it's fixed the place where the library is started. Normally, what you do to fix that is to put, you put a link in the, in the PM directory to the library and just you, you will fetch that. But if you don't want to do that, you have a problem. So, Alien is a different approach, a completely different approach. The idea was to reify the method call. So, it, it has this idea of one object per method, which, in my opinion, is cool, but everybody, the rest of the world, often thinks the opposite. <laughs> the, but I like it, and it has uh, certain enhancements, like it has automatic memory management for certain types of alien declarations, of external objects declarations. It has a really good callback implementation, which was based in uh, VM ownership, but I, I don't have to explain details, but it was a cool, it is a cool callback implementation. And uh, right now it's using the same primitive of FFI. The reason why uh, FFI does not have callbacks is because in the image side it's not implemented, not because it but the process, the process is fully object oriented, it's really powerful, it has a nice callback, callback implementation. The process is a little bit more complex, it has this idea of that instead you, you have a method like in FFI, a, a method that represents a, exactly your external call, you have an object that you can put everywhere. And it's abandoned because uh, Elliot <coughs> decided that the FFI is better, uh, more understandable, second, is more understandable, so uh, he moved all the enhancement that he made to FFI to FFI, uh, to Alien, to, uh, from Alien to FFI, and he stopped developing, so it's a lot. Yes? Is that a huge problem right now? Are there big bugs left unfixed because of this? Uh, no, no, no. I'm using it alien still. Uh, but in fact, there is one problem because uh, in a moment uh, there was a, just one big package of alien, and Luke made a factor <coughs> of that to have better, uh, better packaging of them. But then Elliot continues uh, pushing his changes in the old. So there's now one configuration of Alien which targets the loop implementation. And there is one that I made that configuration of old Alien, which is the one that is follows the, the latest changes contradictorily. But okay, that's a good one. Yes, it's a little bit messy, as I said. Uh, it's even worse because but there was FFI, Alien, and then what did they get is that he used the alien callbacks inside the FFI, so it was a mix. So it's when you load the FFI, you have alien classes, yeah. so it was a mix. And then you have the empty version, which is a multi threaded FFI, so it's a turn to the place. So okay. Yeah, it's a retrofit. Yeah, it's complicated, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> but you could get by using it until the next thing comes well. up. Sorry? You could get by using Alien FFI until yeah. the, the thing it, that's replacing it comes out. Yeah, that's that's what I do usually. I'm, I'm still using Alien. Yeah. Well, and now we have also Native Boost FFI, which is a primitive, specific primitive, uh, which executes binary code uh, generated with ASM JIT, which is all in the image now. And it has a super nice uh, function call and type definition. Really easy to understand because it's it tries to resemble exactly what you do in in, in C. It has a callback implementation, but it's slower than Alien because I don't know, I will not enter in details. But it, it's slower, <laughs> and uh, the characteristics. That it has is it implemented directly in assembly, but it's faro, but it's assembly. You have to know assembly if you want to modify something like that. And that's a real problem. Which instruction set? <coughs> oh, you're doing it. 
It's, I like the thing that is an all in image approach. You can do everything there. It has a real nice syntax declaration and it's fast because at the end you are uh, you have a first cycle of uh, generation of the binary code and, uh, but then you just jump to the to the assembly to the binary code so it's super fast. Uh, it's at least 20 fast 20 percent faster than regular FFI cards now according to our benchmarks. But uh, the real problem is that is no platform independence, so you have you are restrained right now to uh, 32 bits Intel uh, assembly, and that's really bad because we cannot have a FFI with native boost in ARM or in the upcoming version of 64 that I suppose everybody is eager to move there because the world is there already. We are a little bit late. Uh, we will need a, a complete different instruction set. There are an effort there which is called virtual CPU, which is the idea of having an abstract assembly that can target the whole platform. That, but the problem with that is that since, for example, for do a C function call of an, with an structure in C 32 bits, you move it, you move it to the memory and you put in the registers. Uh, just the, the uh, memory address, but in 64 bits, if it fits in the register, you move the full construct there, and if not, then you put it out, outside. Uh, okay. The thing is that you have to, you have to actually, but even if you have an abstract users. assembly, you have to know a lot of, lot of those details. It's you for have implementors to implement. the difference. Yes. You need, of course, you need to implement properly as a file on different platforms. You need yes. to know the, the platform and its specifics. So yeah. You cannot escape from that. Even if you implement a file in C or whatever, you will still have to deal with the platform specific. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, but knowledge about this. Yeah, I know, but in C, I, well, I can do it in C. I cannot, I cannot agree that you put it in two points. I mean, it, it's a general problem for every FFI implementation. And, and I trust Elliot's latest one is not hmm? different. And at first, I, uh, my real problems with this is that it's really harder to do it in assembly than doing it in C. And the second is that Elliot already did it in C. And that's hmm. important. But, uh, and GB already did it in ARM. Uh, other problem with generated code is in <coughs> platforms like iOS that this kind of execution is forbidden. It's having executable memory, and I say. But wait. So, how to fix this mess? But it, because the real problem is that w right now we rely a lot of native native boost, but we are moving to Spur, and Spur still doesn't have it. It will, but it still doesn't, so we cannot use it. And we will move to 64 bits, and we will want it in ARM. And there is always the persistent rumor that Apple may or may not go back to ARM for the machines. That could happen. The thing is that that can change eventually. So uh, we need also one solution. So real problem is that native boost requires a lot of effort that we cannot spend on it. Igor is not anymore working in our mob team. He has to make a living, so he will not be able to work each time that we need him in this thing. And that's truth of life. But then we have an implementation that is made by Elliot, and we can take parts of nothing Boost to do more or less the same. And that's what we want to do now which means work in progress, and I forget just to translate, <laughs> but it's work in progress. And one thing that we are doing now is that we are replacing the ASMG part with plain FFI points. <coughs> That's possible. <coughs> I already have a prototype working. The idea is that have been fully backward compatible. Instead of emitting ACS binary calls, we are going to emit bytecode calls, but doing exactly the same approach that is doing FFI uh, is doing native boost. Uh, we will in the FFI part we will be 100% compatible. 
it will be slower, but not as easy. But it will be mostly rational for everything. The only problem is that, for example, in Athens we have uh, methods uh, written in plain assembly. I r there are three methods in plain assembly, and well, we need to have a strategy to, <coughs> to mirror that. If we cannot do it in just a small talk, even with the cost of the slowness, because probably, uh, I think, Igor would know because he did it. Uh, he can answer why you did it. They are things, I, I don't know why. Most probably it's because you needed to be sure that one, one function, Cairo function, was executed right after the other and not having small talk in the middle. I think. So if that's the case, okay, we will need to think on a plugin or something like that. If it's just for speed, we will see. If it is rationable, we will see. And the idea is that uh, ASMG, the binary code part, will be still pluggable for the cases where people want to use it. The thing is that we will not depend on that because one of our de decisions is not to depend on just one person that person is a super cool guy. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not something that we can do anymore. We need, we need a solution that can be take, taken for other people, not just one person. So that's what we're doing now. I already have a prototype working. Uh, so it will not take too much time. And I suppose that when we release Spur, uh, this will be integrated. The next step will be to have threaded callouts. Again, there is a proof of concept working made by Elliot. It requires a lot of work still, but it's something good because then what, what happens now is that each time you call outside, uh, the image freezes and waits for a, an answer. If it is small, it's not a problem, but if it is a query, to a database, for example, that can take a lot of time and in the meantime you cannot do anything. So this is something that will be most probably in Faro 5. And the next part is something completely new, which is a complete in new implementation of FFI that Ronnie is doing with the advice of Elliot. Ronnie is Ronnie Salgado, so a student in Chile. He's a really smart guy doing a really good work there. It's, a com it's using a complete uh, bytecode set extension for doing all the things of FFI. The good part of this is that it can be jitter too. So we will have a real fast performance. The idea is to get some Lua performance in the FFI call, which is something that we can reach. And of course, the idea is that we will use still the, the same uh, syntax introduced by Nautilus. So in summary, you will have to live with the mess during Faro 3. The idea is that in Faro 4 we will have something much closer to the, the what we want and uh, what we want. And in Faro 5 it will be finally the unification that we all hope. And since Steph will write the documentation, <laughs> <laughs> we, are we are going to all we are be happy. are kids in the room, so we will not comment on this one. <laughs> I want so. you to say that we will change the semantic of done. You know, done it means that there will be a documentation before. <laughs> so, questions? Um, did you discuss with Elliot? Because yes. is, it, is it a joint effort? I yes, mean, this is complete. In the long term, will Elliot adopt this new version? Yes, yes. this is complete talk with Elliot. Okay. We don't so want that's to. Really good. We don't want to diverge anymore. In fact, yeah. we are working a lot in joining again the the two. Yeah, yes, your the mess will reappear after all. Yes. Okay. We are. And then the threaded FFI will be integrated in this, this, this one solution. It will be a uh, standard package or it will be a different one. Like, like, I, 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 I
So it is yeah. more like it is more complex because it's more like transition between uh, cog VM to spur VM because it's a lot of changes on VM side and on image side and to to be able to control uh, native threads from the image to be able to I don't know, instantiate and to, to use uh, things like thread affinity and so on. So there's a lot of things which uh, <coughs> really I did not see in, in the implementation which Elliot did in the threaded uh, It was a lot from like a sketch. I mean, it really, it works, but it's not. Uh, it's not at the level where, where it's I a proof would, uh, of concept. expect. Yes, yeah. it's made a twenty percent that takes the no, the eighty percent that takes the twenty percent of the time. So it, we, yeah. we still need to make it real proof. Okay. Uh, when you said Elliot was maintaining an FFI implementation that isn't the latest stuff, did you mean the original one or Alien FFI? Uh, no, he made both. <laughs> Uh, he's, not maintaining, he's, maintaining. he's not maintaining anymore Alien. He's not, ma he's not maintaining anymore Alien. We had a slide back when you that said Elliot was maintaining something. Uh, what was that thing? Elliot is maintaining the FFI implementation. The original one? The original one. Okay. The, with uh, callbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Any other? So I, just, I will just add a comment. So. Basically, we will take decisions, so we already, this is really high on our roadmap, but we will discuss that with the consortium uh, meeting, so, wait, Tuesday we got a consortium meeting over Hangouts, whatever, and then we will rediscuss that, but on the roadmap we have two things, we have this FFI, we should have one version that is documented, that works for everybody. And that it's in the image and the VM by default. And the other point, this is uh, support for databases. But we will discuss that, so this is that we, as a cons the consortium, can hire one engineer, and that would be the two main tasks for this year. That will help uh, Esteban. And from that perspective, Esteban is paid by Inria for the transfer aspect. <laughs> I will show you the figures, you will realize how much money it means. <laughs> and one of the one of the points this is that we really want to have a good support for business. So this is that why the FFI is important. You should be able to connect really fast to any C API. Why that should be something else? Okay. Seth, are you already talking with Elliot about uh, supporting his company? His new one. No, but we can wait, wait, sorry. There is a misunderstanding. We cannot we cannot pay people that are living in another country. I didn't know. He might move. So, know. No, you know, because, we, are bound, we, we, are, we are bound to state. That's what I live here and not in a country. Exactly. Well, because <laughs> because <laughs> I know. 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 I I disagree with what the reality should be under. Yes, he can. <laughs> I, I, I really love Elliot the place. Elliot can move anywhere he wants. I can't really do what I think, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying... No, so, 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 so seriously, I was, I was at San well, Francisco. that's what I want to know. I was at San Francisco <laughs> some weeks ago, and uh, if Elliot could move in France, but he cannot, we would even create a company to support Faro and Cog here. Okay, so you, you talked with him about that? Yeah, yeah. But to he cannot okay. move because he has... That was my question. But we are... The, the problem is that the consortium is, a sta is managed by Inria, so from that perspective, they do the hiring and paying the taxes and all the stuff that we don't want to do. 
seriously we don't want to do that, plus the visa process and all these kinds of wonderful things that we don't want to do. But, and they put the money on the table and it, it has to follow the public market. So we have a public market regulation in France and this is, we follow the rules. Thank you very much. So for the 